Welcome back to the Pop 'em Don't Watch 'em Whiskey YouTube Show. New review. Very, very interesting bottle that I came across in without hesitation pulled the trigger on Hirsch. Seven and a half year Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Finished in 30 year Hein XO Cognac Barrels. You're asking yourself, well, what's so special about that? This is Willet Distilled Bourbon. And I know people are going to say, you know, how do you know that? That's not, you don't know that for a fact. Guys, they're not even hiding it anymore, okay? On the back of the bottle, they put the mash bill right there. 72% corn, 13% rye, 15% malted barley and if you know anything about bourbon you know there is only one distillery that uses that mash bill in bardstown in kentucky that is willet it doesn't get any more out there than that without saying that it's actually willet than that and then when i got into it the profile is there that willet profile definitely there so do we know 100% of course not it does not say distill that will it but come on they're not even hiding it anymore and Hirsch what Hirsch does as a brand is they go out and they get their own barrels they source and put together different blends and what they want to do with their label they do those sing the six year single barrels those aren't supposed to be will it as well but like I said when I heard that and I saw that mash bill had to have it you see on the table the purple tops uh, the rye that will it does these are going for insane amounts of money the Misano's pick which is not distilled at will it but it's a purple top that won my 2021 bourbon of the year won the bracket but i wanted to do a little comparison to something else that we know is will and that's the old kirk so i know a lot of people have seen these Old Kirk single barrels around that is Willet as well around the six to seven year range. This one six over six years and another Willet product. I don't think it's enough enough love. Johnny Drum. You can find this bottle under forty dollars in some places under thirty dollars. Absolute steel is the Johnny Drum age dated on the bottle. That is a great Willet product, but. Well, let's get into the hearse. Let's get into the box. I mean, great presentation. Look at the box. Let's see if the camera can pick that up. Beautiful box that it came in. Gives you all the stats about the cognac. French oak cognac barrels. 30 years old that it's finished in. So, let's get into it. 127 proof. That is another key. 127 proof. So it's barrel strength, as it says it, the cast strength. And I just love these bottles that Hirsch does. They do a beautiful presentation on all their products. But man, seven and a half years finished in French oak cognac cask. Will it juice finished at that? So let's get into it. So on my right, this is the Hirsch. On my left, that's the Old Kirk. I just wanted to compare it to see if that will it profile comes out but let's get into this bottle because i know a lot of people are going to be wondering about this bottle because it just popped up out of nowhere i had no idea this was coming i've never even heard of it i didn't know it existed and all of a sudden got a call as soon as i saw that mash bill buy it now the price is probably going to be between 150 to 200 dollars depending where you are if your store owner does not know what it is it'll be at retail if he's one of the store owners that like to resell everything and screw everybody over and does know what it is, it's probably going to be between three and five hundred dollars. It just depends on when and where you're able to get it. But for the price, if you get it for retail between that 150, 200 mark, I mean that's an absolute steal with those stats. And in today's bourbon climate, I mean you can't ask for a better product because I mean some of these six-year Willet Purple Tops are going for three, four, five hundred dollars retail so that's what you have to compare it to beautiful color too beautiful color it's got a little reddish hue to it 
So the nose is just straight will it and candy. I mean, it is like rock candy. Almost cotton candy-ish. But it has that Willet cinnamon bun profile. It has a grapiness. When I first got into it, when I first popped it, it was like a grape cotton can grape cinnamon cotton candy. So it has that cinnamon bun Willet profile, but that grapiness from the cognac is definitely there. And then that cinnamon and that spice from the French oak. What a nose. What a nose. Very, very complex, sweet, spice, just that, I'm not kidding, cotton, candy, just rock candy. It is so much candy and cinnamon. You know, that grapiness from the cognac is definitely there. It has a little bit of earth, a little bit of a dustiness from that old cognac barrel, but it doesn't turn musty. It doesn't turn that almost mildew um, note you get from old port barrels sometimes or old wine barrels. You don't get that on this at all. All right, guys, cheers. So I'm going to just tell you right now. 2022 has been a Disappointing year, I guess we can say, in bourbon. I think a lot of these distillers, especially the big ones, are starting to realize they can put out absolute trash and people are still going to buy it. As long as they put a limited label on it, people are going to buy it. It's just the way it is. They can hold their good stocks back. And I do think I do 100% believe that is happening right now. But with that being said, this is not that. This is a serious, serious bourbon. Top three pour of the year so far for me in 2022, without a doubt, without a doubt. I mean, this is so complex. It hits the palate with a profile that you, you just can't compare it to anything. That Willet profile is very unique. And then with that cognac finish on it, let's get back. Let's get another sip. Coats the palate all the way through that cinnamon and French oak spice is huge. Gets you back in the throat. Good, good, long finish. But that cognac influence is definitely there. And I am a huge brandy. I love cognacs. I love armiacs. If you do, you're going to like this profile because it goes very well. With that Willet profile, what an outstanding bourbon this is, guys. This is a, a trigger. Pull the trigger on this one. There's not many of them. I know that. There's not many of them. If you have not followed me yet on Instagram, guys, go follow me on Instagram at popem underscore don't underscore watch them. Also, join me on uh, Patreon. Look, this month's sample pack. It's my birthday month, so I wanted to put together a really good sample pack. The sample packs have been hitters. The, the September sample pack? Go join on Patreon. Become a patron. Only $10 a month. You're in every month for amazing giveaways. This month, so far, the sample pack has... Gonna have this. Hirsch. Wild Turkey 13-year father and son. Old Carter. Louisiana, batch two, Old Carter, Louisiana, batch one, and we're going to have something else in there. Don't know yet, but it's going to be definitely something special to get that September sample pack birthday month. Going to be a good one. So let's get into the Old Kirk now. Oh, man, so that, that's why I love comparing them. Because this smells like you took the cognac out of it. So this, that, you can really, really smell and taste the cognac influence when you get into the old curve. That is wild. This do, it doesn't have that dusty note, doesn't have that grapiness to it. I 
but the profile, I mean, it is, the juice is almost exactly the same, but that cognac profile plays so well with the Willet. Guys, that is a great, great bourbon here. Let's get one more sip. Oh, man, I love being able to go back and forth. So if you have an old Kurt, you have a purple top that's Willet distilled around that same six to seven year range, or even if you have a Johnny Drum, which I think Johnny Drum's at four years, four to half, uh, what is Johnny Drum? Johnny Drum is, I know it's age stated. Well, I thought it was. It's 101 proof. I thought this was age stated. Maybe it's not. Well. I thought this was age dated with short. Either way, that is Willet Profile. So go pour you a glass of that. And if you have this one, pour it next to it and get into it. I mean, this is just straight, the old Kirk, straight cinnamon buns. Oh, man, that, man, you got to do that. That is a great, great way to really, because if you don't really understand, if you don't like cognac, if you never drink brandy, and you don't understand what that profile is like, this is a really good way for you to understand what that cognac finish does to it. That, that's great. Yeah, that, that French oak cognac, man, what a hitter this bottle is. That is it, guys. That is all we have today. If you see it, buy it. No doubt about it. If it's in that $150, $200 range. I don't know if I'd go too much higher than that, maybe 250, but don't let, you know, don't go crazy, three, four, five, six hundred dollars. I have a feeling that's what it's gonna be on the secondary once the secret gets out. That is another key, guys. Buy this now because once the secret gets out and people start realizing this what this is, you know it's gonna get bought up, ate up, and put on the secondary like that. So if you get it, if you get a Hirsch. You get the purple top, you get an old Kirk. Pop! Don't watch.